and welcome to another Minecraft French Fried Trains tutorial. Today, we're going to be building the Sprinter Train Diesel Multiple Unit set here. And this Sprinter Train is a light rail service that runs in conjunction with the Coaster Train in California. So let's get right into the build here. Our first step is to get three polished deep slate across the middle of the rails here then three polished deep slate stairs upside down facing forward in front of it. On the middle top of the front, we're gonna put a polished black stone block and then one on each side of the back. Then we're gonna take an upside down polished black stone stair facing inward here and facing inward here. Then we'll take a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to the second block for the coupler. Then. On the side of this, on the back, we'll put an upside down polished deep slate stair facing forward here and here. Above it, we're going to put a smooth quartz block on each side. Just like that. Then, above here, three right side up polished deep slate stairs and three polished black stone across behind it. Then, a forward facing right side up smooth quartz stair on either side. Then above it, we're going to put three black stained glass blocks. And we're going to come up one and back one and three more black stained glass blocks like this. Then we're going to grab a black stained glass pane and put three black stained glass panes across this front so the window curves a bit more. Then underneath the back of the window here, three more black stained glass blocks. On each side here, we're going to put a blue concrete like this, and above the blue concrete, a forward-facing warp stair on each side. Then we're going to swing around behind this. Coming off the blue concrete, we'll put a black stained glass block on each side, blue concrete, another black stained glass block, and another blue concrete. Underneath here, on the front, we're going to put a column of two smooth quartz on each side, and then bring smooth quartz down to the end of it, right under the windows on each side. Then, underneath that, we're gonna switch to cyan concrete, and we're gonna put three cyan concrete coming back on bottom, both sides. Then under that, we're gonna do a row of outward facing, upside down, deep slate, polished stairs. Same thing over here, a row of upside down, outward facing, polished deep slate stairs on bottom. Then right behind these back stairs, we're gonna put a netherite on each rail for wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're gonna put back to back upside down polished deep slate stairs in a T-shaped pattern, three wide. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're gonna grab a hopper, a lightning rod, and a grindstone. Put hoppers on the sides in front of all four wheels. At the back, we're gonna put a sideways grindstone here and here. Then we're gonna stand on here, crouch, and put a sideways lightning rod here and on this side here. Next, we're gonna use our windows to measure things out. Coming off the blue concrete, we're gonna put a black stained glass pane and then a blue concrete until we have four more windows coming back like that with a blue concrete behind it. Then we'll fill in down to the end with smooth quartz. And then under that, cyan terracotta. And under that, upside down polished deep slate stairs. So we'll copy our pattern back here. So bring out our cyan terracotta, our smooth quartz. and then put in four more windows with a blue concrete between them here. Underneath it, we need to put a row of upside down, outward facing, polished deep slate stairs. Behind this on bottom, we're gonna put two smooth stone slabs on each side. 
Then on top of the slabs, we're gonna put two warped doors. Same thing on this side here, two warped doors. And then above the doors, two black stained glass panes. Next, coming off the top block here, we're gonna do a blue concrete, two black stained glass panes, blue concrete, two stained glass, 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 blue concrete. So there should be five windows, two blocks along here. Then we're gonna come underneath it and under each of the blue concretes, we're gonna put a smooth quartz. Then we'll extend all our black stained glass down by one. And then underneath of that, we'll do a solid row of cyan concrete down to the end. Then we're gonna come underneath it here, start one block before the end and put a row of upside down, outward facing, polished deep slate stairs all the way up to this doorway. Then we'll come around and do the other side. So right here, we'll start putting a row of outward facing, upside down, polished deep slate stairs. I was having some trouble placing them here. And bring it down until it's aligned with the end of the stairs at the other side here. Then above that, a full row of cyan concrete one block past the end of the stairs here. Then we'll use smooth quartz blocks to mark off our windows exactly the same as the other side. And a blue concrete above each, above each of the smooth quartz blocks. And then we'll fill in all these windows with black stained glass blocks. Just like that. And actually, we are gonna add one more upside down stair on the end of this. And then we'll extend this back another block. So another cyan concrete, another smooth quartz on each side, and another blue concrete on top. Then right here, we're gonna put a netherite on each rail for wheels with an end rod axle. Then we need to get a row of three polished black stone stairs upside down facing this way delete that one use for placement because the truck is shared on this end. We're going to put a hopper in front of the wheel and a grindstone in front of the stair on each side. So it's like that. Next we'll start working on the interior a bit here. So we're going to come inside here all the way up to the front and we're going to fill this bottom in up here in front of the wheels three wide with cyan terracotta. Then we'll skip behind these wheels and fill all the rest of this bottom in three wide with cyan terracotta as well. And bring it all the way down to the back. All the way back till it's touching these back wheels here. Just like that. Then we're going to come up to the front again. And we're going to do another layer of cyan terracotta, three wide. And we're going to bring it back till it's over these first wheels here. And actually we'll put three across right here by this first window in front of the door. And we'll fill all this in three wide with cyan terracotta as well. So the front is raised up like this. And actually, we're going to put three more right here so it lines up right next to the door. In front of here, put a polished andesite stair in the middle so there's a step, then two glass panes on either side like that. Up here, next to this second blue concrete, we're going to put a column of two black stained glass blocks on each side and a door right here.
Then we're gonna put in all our seats. So right here, we're gonna put three sideways warp stairs because there's fold down bench seats here. Then one facing forward here, skip a block, another one. Skip a block forward, one on each side. And then we're gonna turn around here and we'll put one on each side facing the other way up against this glass. Then we'll come down here. We'll put a column of three glass panes on either side. And we'll start putting our seats in back here. Back here, we're gonna put a smooth quartz on either side like this. Then a right side up, smooth red sandstone stair and an upside down on either side like that. Then we'll start coming all the way through this with a stair on each side with a gap of space between them to be all the seats back here. Just like that. Then we'll come back down here and we're gonna put a row of sideways end rods up the side on top here. All the way up to this glass pane. Two above the door here. And I started to do them up here, but I decided against it because there's not enough height. You wouldn't be able to walk into the seats. Put two above the door on this side. And we'll come back here and put another full row up here on this side. Since the back section is three blocks tall, we have enough room for the lighting. Just like that. Then we'll do the engineer cab up here. So come up in here. Under the window, put three cyan terracotta. Then three smooth stone slabs up here, a glow item frame on each side with an end crystal for computers, a lever in the middle. Turn around and put a seat in the middle where the engineer sits. Now we're going to come down to the very back here and in the middle put a gray carpet. And then we're going to start bringing gray carpet all the way up the middle here. When we get up here, we'll come all around the sides of this door section and then gray carpet up the middle on this raised platform up here as well, all the way to that door. Then we'll come back down to the rear end here and on each of these polished black stone blocks on each side, we're gonna put a smooth quartz block. Then on each outside edge, we're gonna put three polished black stone brick walls coming up in a column. So three here three here and then we'll put three across this top middle for the diaphragm so it looks like that then we're gonna come on top of the front here and behind these warp stairs on the front we're gonna run a full line of blue concrete all the way down the top of the windows to the back then we can come across here and we'll run another full line of blue concrete all the way above the windows up this side all the way to the front. Then we'll come back on top here up here and we'll start filling the whole top middle three with cyan terracotta. And we'll bring that down three wide all the way to the rear end so that the whole roof is filled in here. I tried to build this larger and have the curvature of the roof but it just didn't look right with the warp stairs and not blue up here and making it more curved made it too big for how big it's supposed to be. We're actually going to take out those three blue concrete across the top of the back there and put cyan terracotta across there as well. Then we'll put three polished black stone brick walls across that very back top middle there. Then we're going to come up front on the top here and above where the second window divider is in the middle we're going to put a lever on each side going that way. Then we're going to do five outward facing polished deep slate stairs on each side like this and five polished deep slate blocks in the middle. Behind it on each side, three deep slate tile slabs. So it looks like that. Then there's also another one of these boxes on the back. So for that, we're going to come over this window divider here do the same thing, a lever on each side, then five outward facing deep slate tile stairs on each side. I mean polished deep slate, sorry about that. And five polished deep slate blocks up here, and then three deep slate tile slabs on each side behind it. 
Then we'll put a gray candle on each side of the back. Up here, we're gonna skip forward by two and we're gonna put five iron trap doors like that. Now we're gonna take out a light gray stained glass pane here for rear view mirrors up here. And on the side of this block here, we'll put one right here and one on the other side. Then we're gonna come down on the side of cyan concrete here, skip one block back, and we're gonna put eight item frames coming back. And we have to do the same thing on the other side here. I was making sure how I lined it up there. Skip one block back and put eight item frames. Now we need to make banners, so come into a loom here, and we're gonna use a cyan banner and white dye. We're gonna put horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, diagonal, new banner. Vertical on the left, top half white, new banner. Diagonal, vertical on the left, top half white. New banner, vertical in the middle. New banner, vertical on the left, vertical on the right, diagonal. New banner, horizontal on top, vertical in the middle. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom horizontal in the middle. Then we're going to switch over to cyan dye and we're going to put a cyan border around every single one of these letter banners that we just made here. Then we can come place these and this is what the item frames are for to fit the banners into a one block space. So on these item frames we're going to use our banners to spell out the word sprinter. Of course, we'll come over and do it on the other side here. So use your banners to spell out the word sprinter on this side in these item frames here. Next, we're going to put a glow item frame on each side of these stairs here with glowstone. In the middle, a dark oak sign, and we're going to type in all capital letters NCTD. Hit the sign with white dye and a glow ink sack. Another actual headlight is supposed to be above this window, but we don't have enough space. And if I made it one block taller, it just didn't look right. The vehicle was too tall for how it's supposed to be. So we can't put the headlight above there. And that's the whole build for this DMU. What you need to do next is use the structure command to copy in or just build another exact duplicate of this but facing the opposite way here, because these come in mated pairs with a cab at each end here. And real quick, we'll just come in here so we can show off the interior and that you can walk through the whole thing here. We have this raised area, then it drops down. You come between here into the next car and then it raises up and there's a cab at this end as well. And there we have it folks. We've completed our Siemens Sprinter Train DMU light rail units. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there rail fans.